is another mean value theorem problem from AP Calculus AB and it says that a plane begins its takeoff at 2 p.m. on a 2,500 mile flight. The plane arrives at its destination at 7.30 p.m. Explain why there are at least two times during the flight when the speed of the plane is over 400 miles per hour. Okay, I think this is a pretty reasonable, pretty reasonable problem here. The first thing I'd do is this, just for fun, is I'm going to draw my airplane. So here's my airplane, and the airplane has wings. And then I'm going to draw these two, these two lines here. I know that at time is zero, my airplane is at position zero, and that in the final moment, it's 2,500 miles away, isn't it? I also know that it takes off at, whoops, it takes off at 2 p.m., so it takes off at 2, and it lands at 7.30. And I just want to remind you, this is calculus, so I don't care about that. 2 o'clock to me is time equals zero. So I'm going to take that as time equals zero, right? That's the time that the plane starts to take off, right? And that the time period between 2 p.m. and 7.30 p.m., that is five and a half hours, right? So five and a half hours later, the plane takes off. So we're going to use intermediate value theorem again to say that we have this guaranteed uh, value here that f prime at c is going to equal f of b minus f of a all over b minus a. So what I'm going to do here is just translate that a little bit, right? Part of it's really, really easy to just think about it. f of b, the final destination, is 2,500 miles, right? 2,500 minus the initial position, which is zero, all over 5.5 minus zero. Now, with your calculator, what you're going to find out is that our airplane, at some point, is going about 454 plus miles per hour. Right? So, if you think about this, why is, it, why is this thing going to go forward twice? Well, it's going to take off, right? It's going to, it's going to get to a this is not height, this is a speed, but it's going to get to a speed of 400, sorry, it's going to get to a speed of 454 miles per hour. So it starts at speed zero, so in, from speed zero to speed this, somewhere in there, you were going 400 miles per hour, weren't you? And then the plane started to slow down, and it slowed down because it came to a full stop here here its speed is zero right speed is zero here speed is zero here so it climbed this is not altitude but it climbed to a speed of 454 miles per hour from a speed of zero so it had to pass through 400 and then it slowed down because it came to a full stop here right so there's proof that the airplane went through a speed of 400 twice so hope that was helpful keep up the good work